One of the best ways to scale your Etsy and print on demand business is by always preparing for upcoming holidays and events. So as crazy as it sounds, now is the best time to start preparing for the influx of sales that most, if not all Etsy stores experience come Q4. Now Q4 refers to the fourth quarter of the year, which includes the months of October, November, and December. And for an Etsy and print on demand business, Q4 is the most important time Time of the year because it includes events such as Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. During this time period, people are frequently buying gifts, and so it's a great opportunity for Etsy sellers because Etsy is a huge marketplace surrounding around gift giving. In fact, that is typically why a majority of shoppers come to Etsy. I began my Etsy and print on demand business in Q4 of 2022, and I was quickly able to generate over $4,000 in revenue, which was over a thousand dollars in profit in my pocket and since I've continued to scale my Etsy shop this year I am anticipating a profit over five figures in just the last three months of this year and I believe you can do the same if you follow the right steps to prepare in this video we are going to research a extremely popular Q4 niche that I believe you can see sales and have success in and then use that research to create our own unique design if you're new here my name is Taylor and my channel is focused on all things Etsy and print on demand. If those are two things that interest you, I hope that you will boop that subscribe button down below and follow me and my journey to becoming a six figure Etsy seller. For Q4, one of the largest and most successful niches to create products for is the Halloween niche. And so just by typing in that broad term on Etsy, we can start to see some of the commonly searched phrases in relation to Halloween. And I do have the Everbee Chrome extension installed, so we can start to see exactly what those monthly searches look like. For example, here with Halloween shirt, nearly 4,000 monthly searches, Halloween decor, nearly 3,000 monthly searches, Halloween sweatshirt, over 3,000 searches, and so on and so forth. There is a ton of search volume already happening within this niche, and we are still several weeks out from when the highest search volume will occur for this holiday. When it comes to the Halloween niche, search volume typically peaks around September. And so that is why now is the best time to start designing and listing products for this holiday. It is always going to be in your best interest for growing on Etsy to be listing for different Different holidays and events about 8 to 12 weeks out. The reason being is if we are able to list our products earlier, we are going to hopefully get some early favorites, possible sales, and when this niche peaks in terms of search volume, your listing will already have some organic ranking and you will likely see more success by being prepared early. So just clicking into that Halloween shirt, it's great to start by just analyzing the listings that are showing up on this first page of search. Now, what my eye is typically looking for is what mock-ups are ranking on this first page of search. What color is the mock-up image? For example, just in these first two rows, I see this pepper comfort colors shirt being used as well as an orange shirt, a black sweatshirt, two of these green sweatshirts as well as two sand or ivory colored shirts as well. So I like to pay attention to what type of mock-up image others are using because those generally are going to have a higher click-through rate and that's what's gaining their spot on this first page of Etsy search. When you are searching on Etsy, sometimes you are going to see designs like this, the Halloween Town design. There are a ton of sellers that begin selling trademarked items in references to popular Halloween movies. However, that is something that we would want to avoid when creating any type of design for this Halloween niche. It is always, always, always so important that you are doing your trademark research. We do not want to infringe and potentially risk getting our shops shut down. Something that I've personally really been enjoying with Everbee is they just released this trademark monitor. And when you link your Everbee account with your Etsy, account, it is going to automatically 
automatically monitor your titles and tags and all of your listings to see if you're utilizing any trademarked words, as well as if a word that wasn't trademarked becomes trademarked. This is going to give you a notification so that you are aware that you now are utilizing a word that is trademarked. I feel that it is just a really great safety net so that you can have your mind at ease so that you don't have to worry about having a potentially trademarked phrase within your listing and ultimately receiving a trademark infringement on your listing in your Etsy shop, which could result in you losing your Etsy shop. So the other thing that I do look at as I'm scrolling through is I like to pay attention to the designs that are on this first page. So for example, I see a lot of designs incorporating skeletons or skeleton hands. I see ghosts, pumpkins, specifically these are little cat ghosts. So that's super cute. Here's another example, but with dogs, I think this design is super adorable. This is a shirt that was a bestseller last year as well. Clicking into this listing, what we can do with Everbee is actually analyze this listing. And as you can see, this shirt is generating over 500 monthly sales, nearly $12,000 in monthly revenue. We can see that this listing was listed 13 months ago and last season is really when it had its peak. So I would anticipate that this listing again is going to see a lot of sales for the Halloween season. Something else I like to utilize Everbee with for my research is looking at the tags that people are using within their listings, especially especially those successful listings. And what's really cool is we can actually click this copy all button. I can then copy all of those tags and utilize those within my listings as well. Now, if I'm back in the search results, another way I like to do my product research is click product analytics and just taking a look at what is currently selling and what types of designs again are on these best selling listings at the moment, as well as what type of mock-up images that they're using. And so I wanna take what best practices these best sellers are utilizing so that I can bring that as I create my own unique design. Just as another example, I can click into the second best selling listing on the page right now. I can see that this listing is currently getting about 187 monthly sales, over $3,000 in monthly revenue. And, and with print on demand, it's not uncommon to see a profit margin of somewhere between 20 and 30%, depending on the product type that you're selling as well as of course your price point, we can assume that this seller is probably making close to $1,000 a month just off of this one listing. Again, how I'm seeing all of this information is with Everbee and I do have a link in the description if that's something that you wanted to try out for yourself. Viewing this particular listing, this is a super simple design just with the cute coffee cup, leaf, football, and pumpkin. I can see why this is a bestseller. Designs that are simple truly do sell best. We don't want to overthink any design that we create. Typically less is more when it comes to designing. As I mentioned earlier, it is important that when we are trying to tap into a highly competitive niche like Halloween, it is important that we are bringing something unique to the search results. What I like to do is utilize Creative Fabrica and that is where I am going to search for some different graphics and elements that I can utilize to create my own unique design. In Creative Fabrica, I have gone ahead and searched for Halloween designs and what I'm going to specifically filter by is graphics as well as I'm going to scroll down to the licensing and click print on demand. This is going to ensure that the graphics that I'm looking at are full print on demand usage licensing, meaning I could take any of these graphics and put them directly on a mock-up and sell them as is. However, that is not what I recommend to do as if we are doing that, odds are a lot of other sellers are doing the same thing and that's not going to result in us standing out in the Etsy search because others are going to have that same exact design. What that does is just create a bidding war for who can have the lowest priced item. So what I found on Creative Fabrica is one, this cute little ghost bundle. A lot of the results on Etsy had a lot of cute little ghosts on them. And so 
I thought that would be a cute element to bring to our unique design as well as I found this graphic and what I'm actually going to do with this graphic is I want the coffee cup out of it. I'm going to get rid of all of the text around it but something that I thought would be cute is there was the best sellers that had ghosts on them as well as that one design that was selling really well with the coffee cup and a really great way to create a unique design that can become a bestseller is to combine elements that are super popular already. Okay, so my process. I downloaded those two files from Creative Fabrica and I really liked this little ghost with the bow from the one bundle of ghosts that we saw as well as I mentioned, I liked the coffee cup. So what I did off camera is I brought that coffee design that we saw and I erased all of the text around it and then I color matched the bow from our ghost to the orange that we see on the actual coffee cup as well as I filled in the coffee cup white. So I made that coffee cup my own and what I was envisioning is our ghost here holding the coffee cup. I thought that would be super cute and so we'll make this a little bit bigger. All right, I think that looks super cute. The last thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna just make this fill the entire size here and what's great about Kittle is I can see those lines and that just tells me that I'm centered. And that's my design. I like the ghost, I like the coffee. Combining two popular elements that we saw on bestsellers on Etsy already, this is a way that I like to create really unique designs and this is how you can stand out in those more competitive niches. And just like that, I put this design on two different mock-ups, one for a t-shirt as well as this tote bag mock-up. And I'll put a link to both of these mock-up shops in the description box below as I have purchased tons of mock-ups from both of them. They have different product types as well as tons of different variations and just have really beautiful mock-up images. I'm really happy with how this turned out and just a simple design like this could sell really well this Q4 season for the Halloween niche. So I encourage you to take this video as inspiration where you do your research within Etsy, look at bestsellers, look at other designs, look at what's trending, and create your own unique design. That is how you are going to stand out against the competition so that you can scale and grow your Etsy store this Q4 season. If you love this design, I'll also have a link in the description box for a free digital download for it. I hope this video brought you inspiration to create your own unique designs within your Etsy and print on demand business. If you did find value in this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe as well so that you don't miss any future videos. Again, I do have a link for Everbee if you wanted to give it a try for doing your research for niches that you want to sell in this Q4 season. My coaching opportunities are filling up. However, I do have a few spots still available. If you were interested in working together, I always have the link to those opportunities below in the description box. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one.